So here is my skin before microneedling. So like my skin has come a long way. If you follow me on this channel, you know that my skin has been through it. I've had cystic acne. I've had, I've used so many different products. Um, I've had a lot of brand deals with acne scar products and shit. And some of that shit don't work, but some of it does. Um, but here's my skin in natural lighting. So definitely some texture and indented scarring, but I'm pretty confident in my skin now. Like... There's definitely times when I kind of fluctuate in and out of it, but I thought I could do one more treatment for now. And then, yeah, laser and shit is really expensive. So I want to do the microneedling and I'm going to ask them to do it pretty deep. Um, I did my brows. I didn't put any face makeup on, but brows are done. And yeah, I don't really know if I like my fit. <laughs> 10 minutes and my whole top left is like numb. Just got the microneedling done. I really liked. I'll, I'll update when I get home. Don't be alarmed. I just got back home from my microneedling session. Um, the place I went, I probably I don't know if I'll disclose it, but I really like this place. It's the same place that I went last time. This is my second time doing microneedling in office, and I definitely picked the wrong day to do it like no it's still a good day but like it's so sunny and nice out today and now i'm like i have to wear sunscreen and like hide from the sun and i look crazy like yeah that the numbing shit that got me right she used 2.5 millimeter needles she was really cool and she was like you're taking this like a champ and i'm like i think my skin is just thick i'm used to this kind of like doing it at home and shit like i'm kind of used to this shit so yeah, I guess I'm gonna start documenting the process, like the healing process of it, but. All right, this is the next day. So it hasn't even been 24 hours, but I just slept with the microneedling and yeah, my face is still red. I will say last night, um, my face was pretty on fire. I actually went outside and skated a bit and I forgot they say you're not supposed to like sweat, but so it like burned. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's why they tell you not to, but I'm actually about to go to the gym. Like they said, no F activity but it's tuesday i need to go to the gym i'm gonna do a light workout i'm not gonna sweat a lot i think <laughs> so i'm not gonna do super cardio or anything but yeah so this it's like i can feel still like my face feels like it has a little extra like cushion to it because it's inflammation so yeah, like my, most of my acne scars are kind of filled in low key, but it won't stay completely like that, which is okay. It's mainly just like the super inflammation. I do want to mention they went 2.5 millimeters. I'm not sure if I said that in the last clip. I don't really know the format of this video of what I'm going to do, but I'm taking clips in case however I want to do it. So yeah, still red. You can see the line where they did it. I'm, I'm going to go in public. Like yesterday I was pretty scared to be seen, but I don't know. I don't think anybody's going to care or know. They might be like, oh, that dude's red, but yeah. So, um, like I said yesterday, it did, my face was just really warm and I kind of like, I remember that from the first time I did it, my face was just pretty hot. So yeah, today it's feeling a little bit, a little warm, but I tried to use an ice roller last night and it was like burning my face. I don't know why. Um, I also used my copper peptide serum by The Ordinary. Yeah, today I'm just going to moisturize with some CeraVe and maybe put my copper peptide serum on later, but yeah, I really kind of want to put on makeup, but I know you're not supposed to. <laughs> Please don't mind the frizz, but it's been exactly like 24 hours since I got the microneedling, so yeah, I feel like it was less red this morning. Maybe the lighting was just worse, but it's still pretty red. It feels pretty dry, so I've been applying uh, my CeraVe lotion. Yeah, my hair's pretty but all right this is day two after microneedling it's still red my skin's pretty dry but i've been using um this CeraVe right here to moisturize quite a bit and then aquaphor is usually for my lips but 
yeah pretty red i was super inflamed yesterday i was like whoa i did look kind of like a balloon but swelling the swelling the swelling is going down um something i notice is like when you first get it done like the day after it looks like your acne scars are all filled in because of the inflammation but yeah i know it'll go back down a bit but that's okay um i still think that i most likely made some progress skin renewal regeneration i can feel it with the like dry patches my skin's pretty dry so i'll keep you updated i might actually like i uh oh and yesterday when i went out to skate i did put on a little bit of makeup on my cheeks because i just didn't want to be perceived as like I didn't want to be perceived at all, but I didn't want to be perceived as like a big, red, bright, glowing person. <laughs> okay, here is my skin four days after. I almost forgot to record this, but maybe let me get in better lighting. So you can see it's still pretty red. Um, I feel like my some of my acne scars look a little more filled in. I definitely still have acne scars, which I knew would be a thing, but yeah, I'm still pretty red. Yeah, so here is up close. Pretty happy with it so far. Lily's loving his like new hammock thing. Um, but yeah, I'll still keep you updated, but uh, my skin has been really dry. So I've been applying the CeraVe still quite a bit and then also using the copper peptide um, from The Ordinary. Okay, so to finish up this video, I have like some conclusions and things that I've been looking into. So it is like, I wanna say maybe two months, a little, or maybe like a month and a half since I've had microneedling and yeah, this is my skin. I'm pretty, I like my skin. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I do get a little self-conscious about my scarring here and there, but I have been looking into other types of treatments and I actually had a consultation the other day about uh, radio frequency microneedling and I'll talk a little bit about that. I won't go too like into detail, but I did wanna just like collect my thoughts and give you some conclusions. So for this type of microneedling, I feel like it's just not doing the trick. I feel like there's more out there. I've been doing a lot of research on Reddit and stuff and there are so many other treatments, but there's also so many like horror stories with certain types and yeah, so I'm kind of on the fence. I think that the microneedling, it was definitely worth it. I feel like it does take like over time, it your skin is still like healing and whatnot. But yeah, I think with my scarring now, I've, I'm kind of accepting it, but also I'm kind of looking to other things. So I did have a consultation the other day at a med spa and she was really, she didn't really look in, look at my scars that much, but she told me like, oh, you should probably do like three, um, three treatments of radio frequency pixelate microneedling and then a chemical peel at some point. So I booked it, which for like in five days, um, but I'm having mixed thoughts. I might actually cancel because I've just been reading a lot of things about radio frequency microneedling and it's basically microneedling, but it sends like like radio frequency into your skin but it can be used for melting fat and a lot of people have been there's like there's mixed reviews that some people have had where like 50 50 people have had where it like can melt the fat off if you go too deep and then you end up looking older so like there's so many pros and cons of it and i'm at this point where i'm like damn i really like i think the universe is telling me that i need to kind of accept where I'm at right now with my skin and just kind of move on. So yeah, I might try a chemical peer or something, but I think I, let me know if you have any experience with rate of frequency microneedling pixelate. Um, even lasers, they say it can sometimes like melt the fat off your face and then you end up like looking a lot older, which there's nothing wrong with it. Like I'm going to get older, whatever, but it's also like, I don't want to speed up that process. Somebody said like they look 10 years older now just because of like getting radio frequency microneedling. So, yeah, I, I might do another in-office treatment, but I think my next step might be just like a chemical peel, one of the more intense ones that like your skin literally is peeling off. So, yeah, let me know down below if you have any recommendations um, or if you have any questions. But, yeah, I think overall I'm just kind of accepting the skin I'm in. <laughs> and, yeah, but make sure you give this a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I want to keep making more content. Um, and that just shows me that you guys care. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.